Alrighty, what's up guys? Welcome back to another American Reacts. We're looking at a channel called Mysterious Australia. We'll be linked in the description below. The video, 5 Most Mysterious Australian Places. This is a little something different. So uh, we did uh, a video a long time ago, like most scary or mysterious uh, creatures, like animal creatures that ever existed. So this is in that realm and uh, people seem to like it. So I like doing something a little different, something a little spooky here and there. You know, on a land so diverse and so vast, uh, I imagine there's got to be some interesting, uh, spooky or mysterious places. So let's see what this video has to offer, uh, what kind of mysterious places we can find. Let's go ahead and Five most mysterious it. Australian places. Here we go. Uluru. Uluru. How did I know this would be on there? That place is one of those places that's really, uh, from a geography standpoint, like, I think it's awesome. Again, love red rocks, love rock formations like that. Looks awesome, uh, but it does, especially in this picture, right? It does look mysterious, looks kind of spooky. I feel like it's a powerful place. Uluru, also known as Ayers Rock, is a massive sandstone rock formation in central Australia. A strange and mysterious place, considered sacred to the Aboriginal people of Australia. The whole formation is riddled with caves, carvings and paintings. The indigenous Anagu people refuse to climb Uluru, citing a great spiritual significance in every path, crevice and cave. Mm -hmm. At least 35 Ooh. people have died making the climb to the top, and the eeriness of the place haunts many tourists who travel there. Many. Okay, so first off... Tons of caves. That's already freaky, right? Uh, some people love caves. Uh, my wife loves caves. I'm not a big fan. <laughs> they freak me out a little bit. And uh, they have to be really big for me to be interested if they're small. Yeah, no way. And, yeah, the fact that it has all these paintings, the caves, the very, very spiritual significance to many people of the land. Yeah, it's it's an interesting place. I did not know he already said that 35 people have died while climbing it. That is pretty freaky, right? Many travelers have taken rocks from Uluru as souvenirs, only oh, to go no. on to suffer tragic accidents and horrible misfortunes. The repercussions of removing these sacred rocks <laughs> have been so harsh that many go to great lengths to return them to the formation. Oh, jeez. It has been reported that since 1970, at least one sample of the cursed stones is returned every day by mail at the park ranger's office that oversees Uluru. Is there some type of Uluru curse? Or simply people's conscience getting the better of them? That was really, really interesting right off the bat. Uluru. That was just like a little bit, right? One minute. But I feel like there's so much you could cover on that place. Yeah, that's kind of like the uh, volcanic rock from Hawaii in the U.S., right? Um, people take that and take it home to the mainland to the contiguous 48 and start having some real bad stuff happening and up mailing it back to like get that out of here so yeah i can imagine another place that people take rocks that you're definitely not supposed to is would be superstition mountains outside of phoenix arizona great great info on that if you want to look that up sometime yeah, that's a spooky place, straight up spooky. So yeah, I would imagine uh, my first inkling would not be to take rocks from Uluru. No way. Uh, it's just admire it and do not climb it. Do not take rocks. Yeah, I would I would not mess with that because that's a powerful place. Burning Mountain. Burning Mountain. Ooh. Mount Wingen, commonly known as Burning Mountain, is a hill located in rural New South Wales. The hill is home to a burning coal seam fire that has been raging for over 15,000 years. What? Initially thought to have been volcanic in nature by local settlers, it wasn't until 1829 that a geologist identified it as a coal seam fire. Whoa, that's How weird. the fire first started is unknown, although many have speculated that it could have either been a lightning strike, a bushfire, or Aboriginal cave fires. The fire deep inside yeah. the ground can reach temperatures as high as 1,700 degrees Celsius discoloring and distorting the ground topography around it. Jeez. There are many similar underground coal fires around the world, although the Mount Wingen fire is considered to be one of the oldest and longest burning. That is insane, man. How do you explain that? I mean, he, he tried to explain it right there. 
that's just so bizarre. Can you imagine for years and years and years, decade after decade, century after century, the, just this burning and burning and changing the topography around there? Wow, what the heck? That's weird. Black Mountain. Next on the list is another mountain. Black Mountain in the Kalkajara National Park just outside of Which Cooktown, Queensland. On the outskirts of a rainforest sit huge, ominous black granite boulders, some as big as houses, and Whoa. are seemingly stacked on top of each other haphazardly to form a mountain. What? A blue-green algae is responsible for the dark shade to the boulders, adding a more creepy touch to the mountain's strange look past full of mysterious disappearances. Whoa, look at that. The Aborigines call this place the Mountain of Death and will not Ooh. go near it for unknown reasons. Oh, jeez. Many people have vanished around the mountain as if... That's because they know what's up. <laughs> if they're called the Mountain of Death and they don't go around it, they know what's up. There is something eerie, something real bad about that place. <laughs> will not go near it for unknown reasons. Many people have vanished around the mountain as if swallowed by the many gaps and crevices oh, and cave geez. systems that weave in and around the many black boulders. Oof. Three men and their horses were the first victims Black Mountain claimed. Never a trace of their remains ever to be found. Oh my god, that's crazy. Then, two more men, eager to solve the mysterious disappearances, entered the honeycomb of caves that riddled the area. Also, they too were never seen again. Wow. Two experienced black trackers were then sent to find them, but they too suffered the same fate. Jeez. And many more disappearances plagued the mountain in the years to come. Man, that's just a bad series of events. Someone gets lost, you have a first group, and then someone goes to find them. Oh, they're gone. Send in some pros. Oh, they're gone. Like, oh, geez. That place is for real, man. That's no joke. And how weird is it that it's like all these just rocks, like like millions of rocks stacked on, stacked on top of each other uh, with that black appearance. It, it's freaky looking. It is. Are people just getting lost in the dark labyrinths? Or could there be something much more mysterious going on? What's living in there, man? <laughs> Devil's Pool. Not far from a Queensland town called Babinda is a waterhole surrounded by boulders that has an ominous history. The waterhole is the culmination of three streams that intersect over boulders forming several small pools and water chutes. Hmm. Fast flowing water through the crevices and a sudden 40 foot drop make the prospects of a hot afternoon swim a dangerous gamble. Despite this, thousands of locals, travellers and thrill seekers swim in the waters every year. Uh -oh. State emergency service records show 20 people have died in the notorious waterhole since 1959, and perhaps many more unrecovered. Oh, jeez. Aboriginal dreaming stories say a vengeful spirit of a woman named Ulana haunts the waters. She had committed suicide in the waterhole after having her lover separated from her because he was from another tribe. She oh, now man. is luring men to their deaths in search of her long lost lover. Ooh, that's freaky. Extremely deep pools under waterfalls around the area make recovering bodies extremely difficult. Oh, man. It is often suggested many more victims lay under rocks and debris at the bottom of these pools. That's freaky, man. No way. No way I'm going there. Pine cap. <laughs> Pine Gap, what Pine is, Gap is an American base in the Australian outback, Ooh, just no outside way. of Alice Springs in the Northern Territory. What? Construction began on the base in 1960 and became fully operational in 1970. The facility is officially a ground satellite relay station and is run by the CIA, NSA, and NRO. Okay, that's freaky. I'll admit it. That's freaky. You guys should know that already. Uh, yeah, even Americans are uh, freaked out by secret CIA bases and shit. Um, way out in the middle of the outback, pretty eerie already. You got probably see a bunch of weird ass signs you're driving by. You know you're getting by some weird places. You know there are some eerie, freaky, freaky government installments. All these crazy, weird, shot up signs. You know uh, that say like prohibited area, turn around. You know explosives or armed guards nearby and and we're talking like in the middle of the desert like freaky stuff that you just stumble upon and you don't even know it's there in the middle of like you know new mexico or arizona or nevada it's weird man there's some weird stuff i'm sure you've heard of area 51 in nevada weird weird place that that's continue hearing about this this is bizarre 
This is bizarre already. NSA, NSA, and NRO. There are 14 ray domes that surround antennas visible on the surface. Whoa. The facility continues underground, but how far is unknown. Of course it and does. And some have even suggested it connects with large natural cabins fitted out for use. Oh, jeez. UFO activity around the base has been extensive <laughs> since even before the base's construction. Oh, man. Reports tell of UFOs emerging from camouflage doors and hillsides, as well as multicolored beams of light coming from the area. Oh, my God. There are rumors that the huge underground infrastructure is powered by nuclear reactors, a violation of Australia's environmental protection legislation. In 2013, Edward Snowden released several documents proving Pine Gap, using the PRISM program, spy on Australians silently 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Oh my god, man. The base is also heavily involved in the US drone program, causing much controversy amongst residents. Oh, jeez. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. We will. We'll give it a thumbs up for him. Uh, yeah, that one's freaky, man. That is for sure some secret base. Of course it goes underground, and I bet it goes deep underground. They'll never tell you. You'll never know, of course. Uh, they'll act like it's nothing, but no, that's that. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure that goes deep underground. Maybe it's a secret UFO base. Who knows? That is weird, man. What is the American government up to there? Hey, that's a question us residents here always ask <laughs> but uh good video i hope you enjoy stuff like that i do i enjoy stuff like that uh here and there man I, I like to keep it a good variety here and uh i can definitely see australia being an awesome hotbed for ufos so uh definitely tell me your experience with some some eerie mysterious places that you know of in the comments have you been to any of these five mysterious places? Uh, Uluru stands out. And then, of course, uh, all of them were actually pretty good. The last one, very freaky, uh, secret base, UFO base, whatever have you. Tell me, of course, also uh, any Ozzy UFO videos you would like me to watch. Uh, you can tell me or link them down below uh, as well. Appreciate you watching. Check out the description for ways you can help the channel. Of course, you can... Give it a thumbs up. That will help this video. Subscribe for more stuff like this. Oh, that was fun. More to come for sure. My name is Ian. You're watching IW Rocker. <laughs> and I'll catch you later.